Hello everyone, Garrel here at the Music Zoo, and today I'm very excited to introduce to you a new line of handcrafted, top-tier, flat-top acoustic guitars made in Japan for Yamaha. subscribe to our YouTube channel please do so now and like this video and this is a really cool instrument it is a very limited quantity being offered at launch we are lucky enough to have one of each of the models that I'm about to explain to you in stock so I want to thank Yamaha for prioritizing our shipment and this project is a really interesting uh, sort of new development at Yamaha it is a collaboration between their custom shop in Calabasas California and their shop in Hamamatsu Japan the lead designer on this guitar is Andrew Enns, who works in that Calabasas shop. He's a really interesting story. You should definitely look into it. He had worked at Cordoba on their master series of guitars, and I want to say that was about the mid-2000s. A really interesting project of high-end classical guitars for Cordoba. So this guitar has been fully designed from the ground up between those two shops. Every little element of it was experimented with from the bridge placement and size, the bracing patterns, the top thicknesses, all the various materials used. There's a really great fretboard journal uh, interview with Andrew that I would recommend checking out as well that gets into some of like the details of the R&D and what they do. Uh, the main thing that that Calabasas, California shop does is artist relation guitars. They build custom instruments for their artists and do custom modifications. And then the rest of their time is spent on R&D. So they have a lot of really interesting concepts coming out of that shop. So the model nomenclature on this one kind of follows in the way that they name their red label guitars in A series with a higher number indicating a higher level of trim and quality. The A series has like the A5 and the FG5 from the red labels. This one is the FG9, so it is kind of like the top tier of their flat top acoustic guitar family at the moment. It does have some premium feature sets, which we'll go ahead and dive into now. You'll be very familiar with these if you're into high end flat top acoustic guitars, and this thing is very much a top tier quality instrument. It has an Adirondack spruce soundboard, as you can see comes in two iterations, one with East Indian rosewood for the sides and back, and another with mahogany with the sides and back, which I'm holding here. You have ebony for the bridge and also for the fingerboard. You have a bone nut and saddle, ebony bridge pins, and also some smoked out chrome tuners on it as well. Some of the dimensions of the guitar are very interesting as well. It has a pretty unique 25 and 9 16 of an inch scale length to the guitar, which is a little bit longer than a lot of the other dreadnoughts you see on the market. The nut width is one and three quarters of an inch and it does have a custom neck profile, which is fairly modern. It's somewhat thin, yet it does get kind of nice and full up around the kind of like ninth to 12 fret area. Really comfortable to play, nice rounded edges. Some of the aesthetic features of this guitar are very luxe and also pretty unique to it as well. It has ebony body binding for the top and the back with some little maple purflings on the side. The top purfling on it is a kind of tied rope style, as well as the sound hole rosette. I'm a big fan of that. It's very much like a turn of the century uh, style that you see in a lot of American flat top builders. The fretboard marker is a very interesting sort of nice touch of Japanese woodworking. It is a shared marker between the side dot and the front face of the uh, uh, fretboard itself, which looks really nice. It looks like it's either like a rosewood and maple or maybe walnut and maple as well. You also have a ebony headstock veneer with the Yamaha logo inlaid and also maple purfling as well. And then on the back strap, you have a beautiful uh, maple back strap. And then the heel cap is ebony with F and G inlaid in maple as well. Really nice design touch. It's a very elegant looking instrument. Um, I'm really very fond of it. So the finish on the guitar is a gloss nitrocellulose finish, which is a nice touch as well. That shares a common thread with some of the L-series guitars. Another new and unique feature of this when it comes to Yamaha guitars is that it is actually a bolt-on neck construction as well. Another minute detail that I found very pleasing was also a custom sound hole label on the guitar. It really is an interesting sort of very uh, minimalist look, uh, very appealing to me. I think it's a very nice touch. 
So the tonal profile of the guitars I find very pleasing as well. They are each very clear, nice responsive top end, clear, a lot of definition, but there isn't a lack of a robust low end to the guitar. It is very balanced across the spectrum of low, mid, and higher frequency response. And within that, obviously having the rosewood and mahogany sides and back, you have those sort of like tonal variations and flavors that many of us are used to. So the design process behind this guitar was very intensive and every little detail was thought out, particularly with the bracing patterns. It was a combination of sort of hand crafting and experimentation with bracing placement, also combined with digital modeling and laser scanning it and sort of dialing in a really perfect voicing for the guitar, if you ask me. It's got a very balanced response across the frequency spectrum from the low end to the high end. Very well defined, nice and clear, very, I would almost say bright on the top end, yet it doesn't sacrifice a responsive and full robust low end as well. Between the two versions, you're having mahogany and rosewood, you also have those sort of tonal variations that you're pretty well accustomed to from those two materials. The guitar is very ideal for flat picking. That was sort of, I think, what they mostly had in mind when designing this guitar. Yet with that said, I think it responds very well to finger style or sort of like a hybrid uh, picking style also. The thing that we found very impressive when they first landed was the overall volume output of the guitar. When we first took them out of the case and started playing them in the office, it actually caused conversation to cease. It was so loud in the office. They project really well, so if you're in an acoustic band and you need to really dominate at times, that's certainly a great option to look into. So at the time of filming, we have one of each, the mahogany and the rosewood version on hand. Again, the production on these is very limited, so act fast if you'd like to see one. Um, you can definitely give us a call if you'd like any other information on this guitar, or if you're local to us, set up an appointment to come out and check one out in person. Thanks for watching. We're really big fans of Yamaha guitars here. We're very happy with this addition to their line. We're in love with these guitars, and if you pick one up, we're sure that you will be as well. If you have a Yamaha guitar that you've enjoyed over the years, definitely drop us a comment to let us know your story with that guitar. Again, subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Check us out on our website at themusiczoo.com for more information on this guitar, all the other Yamaha guitars in their line, and anything else guitars and gear related. And be sure to follow us on our socials at The Music Zoo.